a blinding blaze. Down the road is the Al Quds Hospital in central Gaza. Also nearby is the Red Crescent building housing more than 8,000 displaced Gazans. It comes as locals assess the devastation from a strike at another hospital. People collect the dead, the cleanup also involving gathering small pieces of flesh. God have mercy, they were civilians, this man yells. The victims at Al Ali Arab Hospital were not only being treated, but were sheltering from bombardment. During our shift without any warning, a shell struck the hospital. We don't know what it was, but we saw children being torn to pieces. Officials in Gaza have blamed an Israeli airstrike, but Israel says the blast occurred when a rocket launched by the Islamic Jihad group misfired, releasing video and audio to back up its claim. In a rare wartime visit, the US president flew into Israel hoping to calm the region, but was quick to offer this assessment. Based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. I wanted to personally come and make that clear. Joe Biden has been walking a complicated diplomatic line, trying to diminish the likelihood of a wider war while addressing the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, as well as affirming U.S. support for a major ally. And my message to any state or any other hostile actor, thinking about attacking Israel remains the same as it was a week ago. Don't. 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 Meeting with the survivors and first responders of the October 7 kibbutz rampage, Biden also helped secure a deal that would see aid finally allowed into Gaza from Egypt, but not the Israeli side. As Biden urged the country not to be consumed by rage, that message was ignored back home. Protesters swarmed the Capitol building, calling for a ceasefire. Several left in handcuffs. And clashes have intensified around the world. Here in the West Bank, Palestinians are desperate to be heard. The Palestinians have the right, like any other people, to justice, independence, human rights and to statehood. We have the US president coming to Tel Aviv saying on television that it appears, quote, the other team is responsible for this. The other team, as if this is a soccer match. We can feel there's massive anger in this crowd. People are shouting, they've got their fists in the air. Uh, they're saying that they want all Palestinians to rise up as soldiers and that they want other Arab nations to join them in their fight against Israel. The occupied West Bank shares a similar struggle with Gaza. It also shares a border with Israel, where tension has escalated once again.